Hi, welcome back. Another uh, incident resolution. Let's try to understand uh, what sort of uh, incident it is. Okay. So generally, if you look at this, so let me try to explain you. Okay. So this is incident number 27 as per our that. So this is SD track and the user is Thomas and it, the developer is Raidu and uh, it is in a high priority incident you got it. And CBRT2, CBRT2 means I have already ex explained CBRT1 and 2 and priority 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So priority 1 is very high. You can say this is priority 2 high. And after that, medium and low will be there. So if you look at this, this incident status is new. Assume that it is in tool. Okay. As we discussed till now, we have discussed around. Uh, 26 incident. This is incident number 27. No taxes on sales and purchase not allowed for the account. Account means it might it might be sales account or tax account. For the company code ZH001, A is not allowed. Getting error while releasing accounting. So this is the error you got it. You don't have any other details. First thing, first in place, for example, if you get such kind of error, first you need to have an interaction with user okay so how it will be like it might be like you know through email email plus any communication tool for that matters okay so this is not first time i'm explaining i have already explained okay before moving ahead let me tell you this is the part one of my course here how the support process works i have explained detail and 18 real time incident which is near to standard that you can able to explain instead of confusing with G. So this is part two. As part of the part two, I'm doing this one. Okay. So let's try to understand this. Once you had a discussion, okay, you come to know that you got a billing document from your end user. So it's with uh, part two, I believe. Okay. Let's check this. Okay, so this is what the billing document he has shown to you. Let's try to release this. Okay, this is posted. Maybe this is 43. So what I, okay, let's check this. Okay. So, let me try to check. Assume that the billing document in VBRK. So like, uh, so this is F2 basically. So the sales organization is ZH01. Probably billing date is with today's date. Okay. Let's try to execute this one. So we'll get the list. Oh, I think this is 44. Let me try to copy. Okay. So we have zero three. Assume that this is the document you got it from end user. So let's try to go to the change mode. Okay. So this is forty four, I believe. Okay. Let's try to release. This is what the error you are getting. So this is the GL account, and if you get such kind of error. Okay, what is your analysis being a ST consultant that matters? Actually, this issue 100% need to be resolved by your FI consultant. Okay, so what is your immediate action? For example, you made some analysis. You can write a comment here. Okay, so probably like this. Let me try to show you. Okay, so I have explained you, right? So this is the place where so now first, the status, you can keep this one as in progress, okay? So I accidentally, maybe end user don't know, right? Whether they're supposed to assign for uh, SD or MM sometime. So they will assign to basis also. That is a different story, okay? So write a comment like, uh, this is the error analysis, okay? Eight might be problem with GL master or tax code, okay? 
First, what you have to check this one. Okay, you write a comment and you have to assign to finance. That is a different story. So there is no finance here. Okay, let me show you how it works. Actually, what are the GL account uh, you are checking now, right? The GL account. So, so what you have to do is first you go to uh, take this account to go to the FS000. Okay. Uh, so basically, this is a tax account. So then there is no point to check in your account determination. Okay. This is the account. Okay. With company code. So let's display it. So generally, what happens? Control data. Okay. It has an N number of reasons. Like, you know, for this GL account, if you don't maintain tax code in finance, that configuration also, you will have a lot of problem. Okay. So let's check what is the basic thing here. So if you see this one, right, tax category, this is what is missing. Let's assume. So like uh, you don't take a chance. So here, if you look at the tax category is what exactly it is we have. Okay. So you have like something like it is input tax, no chance because no chance of input tax because this is SD billing document. It is outbound. This is either this one or else the same GL account generally in real time. They don't utilize for inbound and outbound. Okay. So 100%, this is the choice. Okay. So, like, you know, if you know this, how to resolve this error also, you have to write a comment. This is what I'm thinking. Okay. This is the place where, so then you have to assign this uh, defect or ticket to your finance. Actually, that's right. Okay. It's missing. Certain time, I told you, right, for tax account versus your GL account configuration also will be there. There is no, no point to take the details. I know where it goes under. Okay. So let's go to VF02. Okay. Let's try to release. Okay. So what it is saying, uh, AA000 has a tax base. Entry has a tax base. Okay. So it is not possible for the tax base. Okay. Let's go to uh that was double zero zero again let's try to make it it has some issues but in real time 100 percent will be outbound on it let's try to go to the control data okay let's try to make it a possibility of uh, you don't click this posting without tax then you know your accounting document uh, will not generate the entry for uh what i would say uh entry for uh, tax section Okay, let's try to check how extend it works. Okay, let's try to release. Okay, so it is getting a different address from finance actually. No, so CO number assignment for CO and he is not CO area. Okay, so, so you have to maintain the number ranges for CO documents. What is this? So it is going to the controlling. Okay, a number group. Okay, so choose general controlling organization. Okay, let's try to check. Okay. Let's keep this. Okay, so this is somehow on your practice system also it is useful. Let's try to check. So let's go to the, where is the place where controlling? Okay, uh, maybe general controlling and go to organization. So maintain number ranges for your controlling. So we resolve this one also. Okay. So let's put it JDH01. So, okay. So basically, let me try to check one more time. So which level it is looking for it. This is how you have to, you know, uh, try to find the way to resolve the issue. So like uh, business transactions, you I am. Okay, let me try to check this one. Second. Let's try to resolve this. In real time, actually, it is not required. Okay. So it is done by your finance. Okay. So, Let's 
let's try to save this. Okay. Now let's try to check one more time. The error gone or not. See? Now how beautifully accounting document got saved. Okay. There is no point to do this kind of issues on your own because it will create a lot of inconsistencies if you try to resolve. So this is practice system then I have taken my independence to resolve this. Okay. So let's check accounting document. So it should be generated with output tax like this. Okay. This is how <clears throat> you have to resolve the issue. Okay. So as I told you, right. Uh, so this is the what, uh, like, you know, so once they resolve, they would put it a comment or something like that. That's a different story. Okay. You know, this is resolved by finance and the group is probably like integration, right? SD slash FI CV. Okay. So this is how we have to, what I would say, you have to resolve the issues. So this is CVR to do, then everyone will be joined in the call. Okay. So let's try to catch up next issue. Okay. So probably you can see this, all these are the different issues, okay? I have explained in uh, my course, okay? It is divided into two courses. Anyhow, let's try to catch up in next session. So a lot of SD issues explained. This is for a difference, like, you know, which issue you need to pick on your own and cross module level. So for that example only, I have explained to you. Okay. Let's try to check this EDA issue. I will explain uh, as part of my second part of the course. Let's catch up in next session. Okay. Thank you so much. Wishing all the best. Have a great day.